now i am going to show you the laravel tinker it is an interactive command line interface to your laravel application and it allows you to test your code you can query the database you can experiment with your application's code base this is very easy and i am going to show you with some practical example so that you can understand here into the ht docs i create a fresh laravel installation into the laravel practice folder so i am going to open the command line in this location okay so here i can work with the php artisan this command now i am going to run the tinker so in order to run the tinker i will have to write php artisan then tinker then i press enter you see that here a command line interface that means a shell command interface comes okay so here what i can do i can test a lot many ways uh, many things this is very interactive and very easy you do not need to create any route you do not need to create any controller or you do not need to create any view you can straight test your command if it is working here i am going to show you through some example so that you can understand as a first example i am going to show you something for example i have a uh str len i have a string i want to get the length of the string so you can just put here the function that is str len and here i am going to tell here i am more schedule or if i am just going to write here this text enter you see that the length of this string that i give here is 21 so this is very easy if i want to show some random numbers for example I am going to use a random 10 you see that one random number with 10 digit comes here 10 uh, character random numbers easily come here if I run it again you see that another random number comes here for example I am going to make an string uppercase so here I can use that is str upper and here I am going to tell my country name is Bangladesh you see that all the text of this string is converted to uppercase here so this is working for example i want to make a string encrypted okay so it is easy i am just going to use encrypt and here i am going to give my name so the encrypted value of my name will be shown here you see that the encrypted value of it is showing and i can use the decrypt in the similar way so which one i will decrypt this total value so i am going to copy it and paste it here you see that my name is now in the output that means after decrypting this string it returns me the main name so in this way you can do many things for example i want to convert a password into hash uh, for example 1234 is my password and i am going to use the hash make hash make and here i am going to give the value 1234 you see that after using the hash make of 1234 this password is converted using the hash so after uh, using the hash this 1234 it returns me a string that means the password is encrypted and the final result is this in this way you can do any other thing for example i want to get random integer numbers from the range 1 to 200 enter you see that 71 again if i call you see that now 1 on 2 i'm again call 182 that means it is working if you want that you will run a for loop here you can do that easily so for i equal to 1 then i less than equal to 100 for example i plus plus i want to echo all the value of i here and concat a space between every items enter you see that the number from 1 to 100 is printing this is in the output if you want that you will want to get the app dot name my application name that is into the config so here i can easily call app.name it will tell me that my application name is laravel 
if you go to that .env file you will see that my app name is laravel okay so in this way you can get many other items here for example i am going to get the timestamp value uh, or the time zone the, the app time zone this is utc now i want to make another one that is i want to work with some data stream i want to get the uh, current time that is now but here i will have to make it to a string to a string this format you see that today is friday june 02 2023 and current time is this gmt plus 00 if i want to add some days with it for example add days i want to add seven days with the current date enter you see that the current date was 02 and after adding the seven days with it the final result is 09 of june so in this way you can run any things here in using the tinker this is very helpful i as i did not work with the database yet so i am not going to show the uses of tinker to query the database but when you will just go to the database lecture if sometimes i need to use the tinker then i will apply it and in that case you will understand how to use tinker in the case of database operations so i hope you have understood the basic why the tinker is used